Hello everybody, I'm George Riles from Archery Learning Center. It's time for another thing a week. This question comes off of Archery Talk. String angles, peep sight, and touching your nose to the string. Okay, so I have a short bow here. This is a Hoyt FX, and at my draw length, it's pretty short. So I'm gonna draw this back so you can see what it looks like, and then I'll show you the decisions that you can make based on what to do with your nose and the peep. Okay, so, now right now, if I keep my head up straight and just anchor, you notice that my nose isn't touching the string. It's a pretty fair distance away. So I could keep my head up and just center the peep on the target and shoot this way, or I could do it a little bit different way and I can anchor a little bit higher on my face so that I can touch my nose to the string. Now, I prefer to touch my nose on the string because that keeps the relationship between my eyeball and the peep the same. And for me, that's just more comfortable. But I've known tons of archers who are hugely successful even though their nose isn't touching the string, okay? So here's what my anchor looks like. And I anchor just a little bit higher on my face so that I can touch the string there. So you notice I'm gonna keep my head still bring my hand in to my head like this, and I center the peep on the target. Now, this is one thing that is a huge bone of contention. Every hunting magazine you come across, it says, center your peep with the housing. And everybody says, well, I need a bigger peep because I can't see the outside of my housing. Well, in a hunting bow with a big, huge two inch housing, you got to have a 5 sixteenths or a quarter inch peep in order to see your housing, especially in bright sunlight. So if you have a quarter inch hole in your peep sight, your anchor can vary a quarter inch without you knowing it and you can still see through. What I recommend is using a smaller peep, like an eighth of an inch, which transmits as much light as your eye could possibly use in a low light hunting situation, and center the peep around what you're shooting at rather than on the scope here in the front. If you center around the scope in the front, your sight radius, so to speak, that you're centering with on your peep is 29, 30 inches. If I center my peep around the bullseye at 50 meters, my sight radius is 50 meters. So I center my peep on the bullseye, the dot goes in the middle of the peep, boom, I got perfect alignment every time I draw my bow back. So, whether if you touch your nose to the string or not, make sure that the peep hole is centered on what you're shooting at and you'll be as accurate as you can be. Choose the smallest peep hole that you can get light through and get crystal clarity because the smaller the peep hole, the inherently more accurate it is.